Guys, would you like me to teach you on how to use ZipGrade, an automated scoring application for teachers? Let's go! Sing a song for the broken hearted. Guys, um, we have to search uh, ZipGrade uh, application in the Google. So we will type ZipGrade.com. Okay. Yeah, we have this one. All right. Now, if you have an existing account, you can directly log into ZipGrade. But if you're, if you're new, so you can click new user. This one. You have to give your email address, your password, and then yeah, your con your confirm password, and then you have to check this one. Um, it says that you agree to our terms and uh, service services, and then you click I'm not a robot, and then register. That's very simple. Okay, so. If you have an account, an existing account, you can click login. Of course, no, in our case, I have already an account in ZipGrade, so I'll have to key in my I am teachers at yahoo.com and then my password, and then you have to click login. Right now, this is uh, we're now in ZipGrade, so current user I am teachers at yahoo.com, so this is my account. Uh, okay, so so we have uh, menus here. We have menu, quizzes, classes, students, tags, answer sheets, sharing, more. For more, we have my accounts, uh, question, yeah, support, uh, about us, pricing. All right. Now, um, notice that uh, in the class, I have already two classes here, the B at 2B and B at 2A. So, however, if you want to add, let's say, for example, in one, you have, uh, let's say, five classes, so you can add class here. You have to click this one. All right. Then, you have to write the name of the, your class. Let's say, for example, um, B S Ed. All right, B is add 3A, 3A, okay, and then click save class, okay, now you have three classes, and then I will add another one, um, B is add uh, 3B, all right, 3B, save class, okay. Notice that uh, in B at 2B, there are 10 students already. B at 2A, 9. B is at 3A, 0, 0. No? So, all you have to do is um, um, you can add students here. No? But first, uh, I want you to check this one. No? Edit student roster. Let's say, for example, okay, for B at 2A, at uh, 2B, I mean, so we have the name, the students, class. Okay, so for that, let's go back to class and then this one, uh, um, grade book report. I'll have to click this one. Notice that uh, for B at 2B, these are the students. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I have 10 students. Of course, first name, last name. After the examination, let's say for example, you already checked the paper, so there's a score that will appear that will appear on this area. Let's say 30 out of 50, 40 out of 50, and so on and so forth. Okay, so you can click view by score for that. No? So let's go back to class. And this one, if you want to Mm, archive your class so you can click this one all right now for answer sheets you can click this one um we have 50 items 100 uh, questions um answer sheets or if you want you can customize so add uh, another options yeah you can click no so it's okay for that so wait that's a wait 
All right. So, 100 questions. So, let's say 50 questions. All right. Okay. So, I have done downloaded 50 items, questions. So, this is how it looks like. All right. So, the good thing about uh, answer sheet for the zip grade is that there's already the name of the students and then the class and then the date you have to supply the date and then the quiz, let's say this midterm exam or final exam and we already have the zip grade ID, okay, it's already blackened. Let's say our zip grade ID is 41127. So it's already black end. That's four, one, one. This two. This is seven. So that's it. So let's say for example, you have fifty students. So you don't need to write the name of the students already here, na. So Stella Cortez, we add two A. Alalita de la Cruz, we add two A. And Remedio Salan, okay. Fred Gascon. So, nine, nine students. Yeah, you have to print this one and then just give it to the students. All right. So, let's go back to um, the grade. Okay. Now, let's go to students. All right. I, yeah, students. So, these are the list of the students. Okay. So, all you have to do, if you want to add new students, like for example, um, we have the zip grid ID, and then the name of the students, let's say Ronald. Ronald, uh, let's say Subo. Okay, so, um, this add 3A, let's say for example. Okay, save the students. Okay, notice that uh, Ronald Sobong is here 41, 2, 3, 0 uh, sorry, 6 and then we add 3A so um, if you want to edit the name let's say you want to change the section so you can click uh, let's say I like to yeah 3B so save yep Sobong is here 3B okay so I think uh, that's clear all right. Now notice that uh, Gascon Fred, um, we got two sections, so this is wrong. So you have to edit, and then what's the section? We add to A or to B? Let's say to B. So click. Oh, yeah, and then this one is uh, Grace Holmes. You have to edit oh, to A. Homes here, ah uh, yeah, uh, we add to A. And what about this one? Anyano Amorin. Oh, no section. So you have to add it. And then this is uh, B said three B. Oh, save. Okay, another one is Nicole Amorante. So you have to add it. Okay, so Nicole, you can use uh, small letter. Yeah, and then 3A, and that's it. Okay, so if you want to add uh, more students, uh, let's say for example, um, Peter um, Amar. Okay, so this uh, 3A, this uh, 3A, save. Okay, next, you can add. Um, by the way, the zip grade ID is uh, random. Okay. Um, Victor, our Victoria, um, De La Rosa, so for example, so Victoria De La Rosa is uh, BSA 3A, so you have to click that one, alright, so De La Rosa, this is uh, alphabetical, okay, so De La Cruz De La Rosa, um, this one, no? uh, with zip with ID one five one six six. All right. So, presume that uh, presuming that uh, you already added uh, your students in a particular class, what 
chapter we're going to do is uh, first we discuss about classes and then students this time let's go to answer sheets okay you have to click the answer sheets all right now zip grade answer sheets we have 50 we have 20 50 and 100 that's the default uh, answer sheets so 50 questions for pdf file 50 questions for png files one of questions okay let's say for example your exam is not 50 it's not 100 but 60 so all you have to do is to customize no? you have to click this one customize custom answer sheets uh, custom answer sheets wizard so you have to click and then you click new answer sheets all right and then you have to name your answer sheets let's say for example is uh, BA, BA ed, uh, mathematics oh, yeah. B ed mathematics and then midterm all right that's the name of um your answer sheets no so meaning this answer sheets is intended for b ed 3a b ed 3b okay let's go to the next okay so we have the name the quiz the class and you can add the date if you want yeah, yeah. date um score sorry yeah score and then the weed is uh, maybe large for name medium 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 that's okay okay so if you want to add more information so you can click this one and write uh, whatever you want no? then let's go to next oh, click next yeah so be at um, mathematics midterm include since ID yes number of student digits ID zip with id is five you, you can make this uh, four or three or ten or or ten digits depends no so label is not idea yeah. incorrect version so i don't like this one so click next all right so all we have to do is to add multiple choice questions now take note that uh, for zip grade um, you can check papers uh, for multiple choice questions only. Okay, so add multiple choice questions. Click this one. And then, okay. Um, all right, questions. So how many questions? Uh, what I said a while ago, you have 60 questions. So you go to 60 and click 60. So how many choices do you have? A, B, C, D or e so if you want four choice only so you can delete letter a letter e no so add questions click click add questions yeah um this is how it looks like so you have question one so four choices so 60 items and then this is the preview all <laughs> right so you have the name the quiz so you have to write this midterm class uh, b ed uh, b ed uh, b ed 3a uh, date and then the score so we have this one huh? so later on so when we print the answer sheets this is already filled up by the system at the same time the name and the class okay so if you agree on this uh, setup on this uh, answer sheet so you can you can uh, publish you know? click publish yep Which way do you wish to publish yeah okay yeah yeah we have b ed mathematics midterm exam not for b ed 3a and 3b 60 items the zip with um digit is five the file is pdf or png so it depends upon you so if you want to delete um this uh answer sheet you can click this one all right so if you want to add another one let's say bs ed all right bs ed um this yeah for bs ed um three so this uh, mathematics also 
mathematics yeah midterm or midterm exam or midterm it depends upon you so you have to click okay so you have to add uh, the date score that's it so uh, let's say this is uh, I'll change this to medium okay and then for the score so we'll make it small date uh, yeah it's okay so click all right so five digits let's say for example um yeah five digits and then the version okay so this no use ready so add multiple choice so number of questions is uh, let's say for example 100 i'm uh, sorry 55 yep so a b c yeah you have to remove the letter e a b c d no? so add questions okay so this is the preview name quiz class date and score all right <clears throat> sorry so if you want to publish this uh, you can click publish all right all right so that's it no so when we go back to class okay um let's say for b add to b i have here the um what you call this one no? this one no b add mathematics midterm this is the answer sheet so i have to click this one download okay we'll show you so you see there's a name and the class no b add to b yep so all of the students you entered in the students menu um will have a answer sheets like this so the students id are being filled up all right so this one yeah so all you have to do is to print no so after that uh, ricky kibinko <laughs> to be and so on and so forth right so um let's go back so bs add three a three students bs add three b two students so you can add you no know, up to 100 or so many classes no class are unlimited so class are unlimited so you can add even 50 classes um let's say for this year you have 10 classes my next year you have another classes so you can add add and add no?